thank you. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am Reverend Beverly Strutt. I am here as the spiritual director for East Hawaii Center for Spiritual Living. Woohoo! <laughs> Officially, my second year begins. <laughs> We made it. We made it. We're still all alive and standing. So it's just fantastic. It's been an amazing year. And um, so welcome to 2023. I, it's so much easier to write because 2022, I will get the 20. And then the first two looked really good. The second one turned into a scroll because my hand just couldn't do that many twos. So thank you for 2023 for changing that up a little bit. <laughs> You know, it all, it's always working in our favor. I also would like to personally welcome anybody here for the first time. I see some new faces out there in TV land. You know, we can feel you as if you're right here, and we love it. So as Dennis said, if you resonate with our craziness, uh, welcome home. That's all we can say. And to everybody else that's been so supportive over this year, thank you. Just thank you for that. So... Yes, it is the new year. As you can see, I'm tethered today, which is great. I can lean on the podium. I myself only got about three hours sleep. Um, yes, we love the tradition of fireworks and. <laughs> is there a turn off switch by chance that I don't know about? Please tell me. <laughs> the body still has the resonance of the of the power and the power of it and the mind is still full of the dust so we are going to work this together today it's going to be very interactive when we get there but first of all I would like to begin with a short prayer for our new year so just take a breath with me a new year prayer faithful companion in this new year, I pray to live deeply with purpose, to live freely with detachment, to live wisely with humility, to live justly with compassion, to live lovingly with fidelity, to live mindfully with awareness, to live gratefully with generosity, to live fully with enthusiasm. Help me to hold this vision and to daily renew it in my heart, becoming ever more one with you, my truest self. From Joyce Rupp. So yes, it is a new year. And as many of us know, sometimes with the, the previous year passing, we tend to say goodbye to many friends along the way. There was one lady that joined us in September, Reverend Liz, I think you remember her from Santa Fe, Unity of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, along with her, her companion Divine, Reverend Divine, with a bright shock of red hair, sat in the front row with us. On the 15th of December, she had, was diagnosed with four, uh, stage four lymphoma. She has already passed. So we bless her and we bless all those others that have taken that step this year into the infinite, into the eternal, into the wonderment. And we honor those lives. And it is in this place of honoring those lives that we can step forward into our own, own to renew, to refresh, to be a part of what is coming this year. So we take a breath. So this coming year, um, Centers for Spiritual Living, as we did last year, did a vision in for the global theme for the year. And I think I've mentioned this before, I was on that visioning team for this year, which is going to make my talks every week just a little easier because I really know what's coming. Um, and the global theme for this year is called Living Out Loud. Last year, we lived in everyday wonder, looking at the small things around us, making sure we appreciated them. We looked through all the facets of our lives to see where we were maybe not seeing the wonderment. And we got to lean into living everyday wonderment. This year, 
we're stepping it up. We're going to live out loud. Live fully. Live freshly. Live with passion. Live out loud. And I am terribly excited for that. This first month, the name is Root and Reboot. And you're looking at the person that came up with that name. Woohoo! <laughs> No, this is what came the first month of the year. And we, as tradition would have it, we anchor ourselves back into the four main concepts of science of mind. The thing itself, the way it works, what it does, and how we use it. And we normally do a week of each one of those topics as we move through. Well, we're going to do two topics for the next two weeks because I'm speaking three weeks in a row before we have some guest speakers come in because they're coming in from the mainland. You know why they're coming, right? There's something about an installation. <laughs> so anyway, so, but today I want to really just focus on the theme of the month, Root and Reboot. As you can see in the picture there, there is this uh, tree with its roots and it's flowering. And of course, with whenever we lean into that idea of growth, especially spiritually, we lean into our feeling and acknowledgement of the divine around us. We've seen it. Danica, brilliant. Thank you so much for that. Doc, thank you for everything that your music is. So before I actually get into the details, you know I've got to have a joke. I read this this morning. I'm going, I have to share this. So there was this man who decided he was going to do stories on the churches around the United States. So he started, he packed up his bags, and off he went, just going from big town to big town, maybe a little town. But what he found was that as he walked into every church, there was a golden telephone on the wall. And underneath it, there was a sign that said, $1,000 a minute. Now, that's great. So he was curious about this. So he walked up to the pastor and said, I like your golden telephone, but what's with the $10,000 a minute? He goes, it's a line directly to God. You go up there, you pick it up, you pay your money, you have a direct connection. You can chat with the big guy. He was amazed at this. He was like, okay. So as he did, continued on his travels to all the different cities, he noticed that there was a golden telephone in every single one of the churches and underneath, $10,000 a minute. And then he walked into a new thought center. Was there a golden telephone? Yeah, there was. 25 cents a call. <laughs> he, had to, he had to stop and shake himself for a minute he goes, 25 cents, 10,000, this doesn't make any sense. So he walked up to the pastor. He said, Reverend, what's going on? You've got a golden telephone, but it's only 25 cents a call. He goes, yeah, I understand. You know, we believe that God is within, so it's a local call. I think that was very appropriate for today because everything that we're going to be doing and speaking about is about going within, reconnecting with God. And so it's not going to cost us $10,000. In fact, it's not even going to cost a quarter because it is a local call completely within. So beginning our new year with Root and Reboot, you know, we're operating systems. We get to reboot. We get to level up. We get to update our system by rebooting. But one of the best ways to reboot is to root. We want to root ourselves in this teaching. We want to root ourselves in the connection that we know we have with the divine. We want to deepen that connection. Because we know when we do, when we have a nice deep connection, especially with electricity and spectrum, Rebooting is easy. It's much easier. It goes quicker. We've noticed that you can re if you've got a great internet connection, if you don't, you've watched that that little circle going round and round and round and round. No. So when we root, we connect ourselves back to the truth of who we are. We connect ourselves back to that wonderful feeling 
that we know is the divine in, through, and as us in all areas of our lives. The great thing about rooting more deeper is that we also get to grow. We get to connect with everything around us. You've heard about those trees that have those wonderful roots that connect in their own communities. So rooting is extremely important. We do not want to forget. When we reboot our computers, we do not want all the previous information to be gone. No, we want to upgrade our system so that we can take that information, update it, do more wonderful things with a great new program that is coming our way. It's an opportunity to do new things with a new capacity, but we must never forget that we have a privilege of being human right here, right now on the planet. So yes, we have the trees that are showing us the way, but we have the privilege of being human of having that consciousness, of having that love, having the ability to choose what we desire for our coming experience. How is it that we want to look? How is it that we want to feel? Dr. Ernest Holmes, the founder of our teaching, says this, feeling and thinking and sensing the allness of spirit, we enter into conscious communion with it. In essence, its essence flows into our acts, spilling itself in and through everything we do. So when we are reconnecting with the divine and we are rebooting to open up to a new experience, a greater um, idea of who we can be and what can be for us in this world, we definitely do not want to detach ourselves from our roots. We want to continue to deepen in to that magnificent connection with the divine. So we grow. We grow big and beautiful. Look at those colors. Those colors are who we are as we're willing to stay grounded and take the chance on a new idea. And as we grow, we will give ourselves many, many names along the way. We will call ourselves different things from how we're feeling about ourselves or what it is we're doing in the world at this given time. But just like a new operating system that takes on a new name, it also brings forward the great and wonderful new possibilities and the potentiality is infinite. So there is another tradition that I like to do at the beginning of the year and I believe that you did it with me the beginning of last year, and we will do it again today. We're going to take an opportunity to go through a ritual where we get to choose our new name for this coming year. But it's not a choice that we just make alone. We're going to go in and we're going to connect with the divine to bring forward a new name for us. We call it the White Stone Ritual. Anybody remember that one? All right. So we're gonna, I'm going to give you a little background. We're going to go into a meditation, and we're going to bring forward what it's going to be for you and the divine co-creating this brand new baby year with infinite potentiality. So the white stone is an ancient ritual during the time of Jesus when someone served in prison or in bondage of any kind, they were given a white stone when they were released. The stone signified that you had done your time and you were now free to go and be and do anything you choose. For us, the white stone represents a new beginning, a clean slate, a story that is still unwritten, free from anything from the past, and filled with potential for the future. There is a reference to the white stone in the Bible in Revelations 2.17. It is written, 
and I will give a white stone, and on that white stone is written a new name that no one knows except the one who receives it. It is yours, truly yours. It was believed that when the people had overcome their present circumstances and had made their connection with the divine, then they received a new name, and the name was given to them directly from God. No one else ever intervened. No one else was even aware of this new name. The new name or word of intention was written on a white stone. It was a new nature, a new way of being, a new way of revealing their inner truth. When people had laid down their past and were ready to step into the potential of their future, they got their stone. And today we all are going to be getting our stone, but we start first with our deeper meditation. So please take another deep breath in. And if you would like to close your eyes or just let them sink, whatever is comfortable for you, let's just become still and allow God to express through you and as you. Feel the presence of the divine and know your oneness with it. Feel that loving presence of spirit as it surrounds and supports you. Know right now that you are safe and secure. You are loved and supported. Know that you are encouraged by your fellow travelers as you journey together on this new road. This white stone is a promise of a new life. See it as a symbol of who you have become or of who you are becoming or of who you would like to become. It is the symbol of a clean slate. Whatever has gone on in the past, we let it go. This is a moment in which we know we are free, free to step forward into the unknown, free to write that which is yet unwritten. So begin to reflect on a word or a new name. Let it come to you easily without trying to make it happen. Let a word come to you that marks your new beginning. Perhaps there is a new idea or a new quality that spirit is pressing out through you. I ask you to set aside the mental knowing and let the divine spirit within you come through. Just give yourself permission to know that you have a new idea, a new quality, or even a new name for your life, for your experience moving forward. What will your life be called from this point forward? And so as, I, as you are guided by spirit, and I invite you truly to trust in this guidance as it gives to you in this sacred place, in this moment of truth, an insight into your divine purpose, an insight into your holy essence. And so in that secret place of the Most High, I invite you to allow yourself to hear this word, to hear your new name that God has for you. And as that word or name becomes clear, just allow yourself to lean in even deeper, deeper into that feeling of being. Feel into your essence. Feel into your beauty. Feel into your magnificence. Now, if a name has come to you, stay quiet 
and allow yourself to ask for a deeper understanding. To ask if there are any steps to take. In this moment, allow yourself to simply open to spirit to say, God in me reveals my true essence. God in me reveals my next step. God as me lives a joyous, peaceful, fulfilling life. And so now I invite you, even with your eyes closed, to bring your hands together in front of you as you cup them together. And imagine, imagine yourself holding a beautiful white stone. Can you feel it? How big is this stone? What does it feel like? Does it have a, a smooth texture? Is it a little rough? How is the weight of the stone in your hand? Can you run your finger around the edge? Is there a little nick? Is it completely smooth? and just feel into the magnificent essence of the stone. And very gently see your word being etched on the flat of the stone. It is written gently, it is etched onto your stone and as the word becomes seen, there's a light from the inside of the stone that starts to shine through the word. It is bright. It is beautiful. There is a warmth and a nurturing energy coming forth from the inside as it lights through the etching of your word. A thankfulness flows over us as we see our new word etched and shining from the stone. Along with it comes the power and guidance to achieve all that we desire. We are on the path to gaining greater insights and awareness and mark a new beginning. For it is Spirit's good pleasure to give you this kingdom. Accept this consciousness of ever increasing good in your life. And I invite you to carry this white stone in your heart as a reminder of that promise to yourself and the promise from God as you. And very gently, you bring your awareness back into this room. Slowly feeling those around you. And as you open your eyes, you will see I have a basket here with beautiful white stones in it. And what I love about these, are they the size of your stone? Probably quite a bit smaller, but you can slip them in your pocket. So I invite you as you leave today, or as you see me walking around the room with the basket, take a stone that speaks to you, slip it into your pocket, and remember who you are as an expression of the divine every minute of every day. So we get to move forward in this world 
And as always, I have something to close out this magnificence. For remember, we want to always ground ourselves in the privilege and the knowledge that we are human. We started with that idea. We leaned into the divine. We got our new word for this coming year, and we're going to leave with remembering that we are magnificent and privileged to be here, right here, right now. So from Mark Nepo, I read, it is asked of us to be mindful of how rare it is to find ourselves in human form on earth. It is a really beautiful view of life that offers us the chance to feel enormous appreciation for the fact that we are here as individual spirits, filled with consciousness, drinking water and chopping wood. Let us understand that no other life form has the consciousness of being that we are privileged to. Life asks us to recognize that of all the endless species of plants and animals and minerals that make up the earth, a very small portion of life has the wakefulness of spirit that we call being human. You could be an ant. You can be an anteater. You could have been rain. You could have been a lick of salt or one of those magnificent fireworks that exploded in the sky last night. But we are blessed in this time, in this place, to be human beings, alive in real ways. So often, this is taken for granted. This present human birth is unrepeatable. So what will you do today, knowing that you are one of the rarest forms of life to ever walk this earth? How will you carry yourself? What will you do with your hands? What will you ask and of whom? Tomorrow you could die and become an ant and someone could set a trap for you. But today you are precious and rare and awake. It ushers us into grateful living. It makes hesitation useless. Grateful and awake, ask what you need to know now. Say what you feel now. Love what you love now. And remember who we are and the privilege of being a human being. And so it is. Let's take this to prayer. We take a breath in. So it is in this moment that we surrender to the wonderment of who we are, recognizing that there is only one power, one spirit, one source, one universal creative mind that is God, and knowing that we are not only one with it, but we are of it, in it, as it, and it is having its way with us. It is the only activity. It moves around us, through us, and as us, in all that we do, in all that we think, in all that we say, in all that we feel, in all that we experience, and we know that as a part of the divine, we get to choose our experience. We get to lean in and see and know and feel and recognize that which is calling to us, that which has our name on it, that which is our desire. And so I know for each one of us as we walk our path today into this brand new, beautiful, clean, fresh week of our new year, that we get to be truly who we are. We get to lean into the truth of our magnificence, we get to expand our creativity. And more importantly, we just get to be. And I know that it is good. So I know that spirit has said yes. Yes, my beloveds, you have set your intentions and expressed your desires. 
and it is already done and done magnificently. So we call it good. So as we release this prayer, knowing it is so, we claim and say it together. And so it is. Thank you. Thank you.